Welcome, bearded buddies and friends, and any new guys out there that are frantically trying to help their beard style and their beard overall game. My name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related. And today, I'm going to address the number one, the absolute best tip I have for maintaining the style of your beard and even saving your beard. And that is simply comes down to two words, time and space. Time and space will save your beard and will give you the best tip for styling. And I will break it down right after this introduction. feeling your beard, it's not the best beard days, genuinely the best thing you can do is give it a little time and a little space. Some of you are like, what the heck, that's not a tip, Dan. I came here for a tip. It really is, you guys. On days when I have bad beard days, I make sure I do two things before I get frustrated and do anything crazy. The first one is I remember time. When I get ready in the morning, most days it takes an hour or two for my beard to really settle in. Once I get to work and I get going, I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> this beard's looking pretty nice. And it has to do with the products that we're using. They need to fully absorb into the hairs and fully absorb into your skin to be able to settle and make it look like it's supposed to. Especially if you're using things like balms and waxes, it's gonna be very stiff and you're gonna be frustrated if it doesn't look right. As your beard gets moving, gets shaking, gets going in its day, it's gonna fall into its natural style and make you pretty happy. So really, give it a little bit of time and it takes that to get it going. And for me, that is almost every day. I teach six hours during the day. I know my beard is not as good in first and second hour as it is later in the day, simply because of that time factor. So keep that in mind if you're feeling like you're having a bad day for beard style. The second one is super important, I think, to prevent bad trims, and that is space. What I mean by space is do not get all up in the mirror. Do not overanalyze your beard. Rule of thumb is always be one arm length away from the mirror when you're looking at it. Give it a stiff arm and make sure you're not too close. I've seen buddies trimming their beard where they get real close and they're dialing into every little hair, especially under the beard, and then they really regret it at the end. Nobody's going to be that close to your face, and if they are, they're not looking at your beard, they're probably smelling your breath. <laughs> So make sure you guys are keeping that distance. I don't want to see a bad trim or an unnecessary trim. Sometimes the best beard maintenance is not trimming and maintaining what you have because you are your worst critic. If you stay back at an arm's length, think about having a conversation with someone. One arm's length is still a pretty darn close conversation. Most people are not that close to you, so you should see your beard in which most people see. Really, really think about that when you're like, ah, oh, I have a bad beard day and you're going in and analyzing it. Step back and ask yourself, is it that bad? Would there be guys out there that would kill for this beard style and this beard look right now? And that can usually calm me down when I think I'm having a bad beard style. If I'm meeting up with a company, if I'm going to have to film that day, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel it. And I'm like, you know what? Would people kill to have this look right now from a distance? Absolutely. Give it a little time, give it a little space, and it'll settle in. And I really hope that sticks with you guys. I was back and forth on making this into a video because usually you know I like to pack in research and actual tips and tricks and show you. But I think it's a really important video for my subscribers. I don't think it's going to be the biggest view count ever, but that's okay with me. If it goes out there and it helps a couple of you and it sinks in, I've done my job. So if you're having a bad beard day, please, for all of us, give it a little time, wait on it, and give it a little space and it will work. Question to leave you guys with, do you have any tips or tricks on bad beard days that you do? I haven't found anything that I specifically do. I'm not gonna change the way I style it. I'm not gonna comb it differently. I'm not gonna add water. None of that has ever happened or helped me. So I'm wondering if you guys do anything outside of giving it a stiff arm and looking at the clock. Let me know what you guys do to help those days out. Thank you guys for watching today. I really hope I helped someone and maybe it'll let you continue to stay positive and stay bearded.